Hi, we're the Pimentel family. Good morning, Gold Coast. Good morning, Gold Coast. It's Cam. Today down at Hope Island Marina on this glorious Monday. But how was your weekend? On a scale of amazing to freaking incredible. That good? Really? Wow. How good was that match with the Burley Bears versus the Dolphins? I haven't seen that much annihilation since Independence Day came out in 1997. Like, we destroyed the Dolphins. 26 to 16, they didn't stand a chance. So well done to the Burley Bears. Remember, this is a Facebook show, so like, share, and comment. But right now, let's check out today's news. You might have found it quite hard to get a tram back from Surfer's Paradise on Saturday night. Police say a drunk 26-year-old chick crashed her car into a tram on the corner of the Gold Coast Highway and Hooker Boulevard. That's that corner near Pacific Fair. And she blew .136 on the breathalyzer, which is almost three times over the legal limit. She's going to court next month. Meanwhile, the trams were held up in both directions for about an hour. I, I, still, I still don't understand. How did she miss a tram? How did she miss a big yellow thing? Uh, what do you even say to that? Our Mayor Tom Tate is using his trip to China to attract more international students. Hopefully ones that don't crash into trams on Saturday nights. He signed a memorandum of understanding with the Mayor of Chengdu in southwest China for their education chiefs to encourage local students over there to study IT, manufacturing and even languages over here on the Gold Coast. It feeds into the council's broader strategy of increasing the amount of international students studying here from 17,000 to 28,000. After all, we're trying to really diversify the amount of industries here on the Gold Coast from the primary ones of tourism and construction to other sectors like health, IT and education. So I'd call this mayoral mission a success already. And a local community group called Humanity is getting on board with what's become known as the Tiny House Revolution. The group started a project with students from Helensvale State High School to create a student-run business building and selling these tiny houses. It's all in line with a global revolution where people want the modern comforts without the huge mortgage that comes with it. So the group's now looking to team up with other businesses, universities designers, architects to make these tiny houses a reality. And if you want more information, click on the link in this post. Morning, here you go. Alrighty, let's see what you can do around town, but first, meet Bernard. Good morning, Gold Coast. What you doing out and about? Oh, this is my exercise walk. Every morning I walk two and a half kilometres. I'm coming up 79 years old, so I've got to keep it moving. You are looking fantastic for 79, Bernard. Thank I have you to say that. that. Thank you. And where's your accent from? The north of England. I came mm -hmm. from Wigan, near Manchester, near Liverpool. But uh, we've been in Australia for 35 years. Wow. Okay. So I think we're a little bit Aussie eyes you're, you're much more Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> and what brought you to Australia? A company in Australia approached me and said we're building two new factories in Sydney mm -hmm. and we'd like you to come out and get them into production. And in 82, Australia was in recession and by opening these two factories and getting them into production, I created about 400 new jobs and nice. about 80% of them I took off the dole or the welfare and it worked out wonderfully. Bernard, thank you so much then for that. You're welcome. <laughs> nice to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Have a good day. Right, well, if you haven't checked out the Festival of Lights down at Broadwater Parklands, you really have to. It's got some breathtaking large-scale light installations, as well as acrobats, amazing food, and some incredible performances. It's on every night from 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. until the 3rd of October. And for more details, click the link in this post. Also, because it's the school holidays, the Logan Hyperdome is holding an Escaped Neverland event for the next week. And you can immerse yourself in a fairy tale land with Captain Hook's ship, mermaids, fairies, and even Peter Pan himself. Again, click on the link in this post for more details. Now for a look at today's weather. We're expecting a sunny day here on the Gold Coast with a top of 26 and getting down to 14. And while the sun came up nice and early at 5.30 this morning, it's setting at 5.44. On the dot. Not a moment sooner or later. Grab your watches. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That is the show for the day. Don't forget to like, comment and share because all the gorgeous, amazing people who've liked and shared are coming up right there on the side. And if you can't see your name there, it's probably because you've got your settings set to private. That's okay. You know who you are and you're still incredible. Also, people who commented on Friday's video, we had Annie Lester say, well, this is a different format for information. Lol. It definitely is. I hope you like it. She said she's sending it to a friend in the USA. Again, lol. Huh. And Jenny Mountford said, I love this guy, too funny. <laughs> well, thank you, Jenny. I'm glad I made you laugh. But that's the show. You have an amazing Monday. I'll see you tomorrow.